Hey, excuse me. I'm gonna, I, I gotta hire you to walk around with me all day and film my divots. Yeah, yeah, this guy makes yeah. plenty of divots. I, I can make yeah, so yeah. many divots. Can I? Can you come with me and play today? Okay. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, so really cool. This range here at Rivervale is equipped with Top Tracer range. So if you've if you've been to Top Golf at all, you're very familiar with the system and the look and the feel of it. And we were first introduced to this at the PGA Show. I think it was two years ago now. And they said they're going to start to have this available in more and more ranges. So they had it just had it installed here at Rivervale just this season, just back in May. Uh, everyone's been really enjoying it. It's really cool, and you can even download the Top Tracer range app. And then right in the app, you can go to, to Rivervale and while you're here, you can have all the data that from your range session will go right into the app. And it's a really cool feature. They've got local leaderboards. So they've got the season, all time. Uh, they've got weekly leaderboards, closest to the pin, longest drive. And you can see that by the range. So all of, not only is your own data here, all of the, the data for the range, for anyone who's used the system, is here as well. So really cool, little added bonus to your uh, pre-round uh, pre warm-up, that's for sure. Let's go see what Mike's got going. So guys, similar to uh, Trackman, this thing's gonna give you your your total distance, your carry, your ball speed, your launch uh, degrees, the curve, height, hang time, uh, everything. And then it's got the targets that are preset for the range that are out there that are programmed into the system. So it's it's very, you know, it's right local to this, uh, this range. So really cool. This is something that I hope to see at a lot more driving ranges really soon. Would you clip a good one? Dude, when you clip a good one, all you do is just look over your shoulder, see those results. What a bad freezing cold 7 iron. Yo, how cool is it too that those two cameras are picking up the shots from all, what is this, 10, 10 12 days? days? Incredible technology. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, we're back at it. Rivervale Country Club in Rivervale, New Jersey. Another local stomping grounds course for me. I've been here a handful of times. Frank, again, you are new to this one, so. Yeah, yeah, I spent a lot of time around this area. I uh, actually lived in Pearl River not, not, oh, yeah, for, that's right not over too here. long ago, mm -hmm. right? Um, for a little while, but I haven't played here. But we got another crisp fall day. It's a little bit cool, but I think we're avoiding the rain we're today. We're avoiding the rain. We're not avoiding good. the wind, though. No, it's going to be windy. It's going to be windy out there. This so. has a very Scotland type of feel today, right? You yeah, I tell you that. what, I got the bird up a little bit. <laughs> saw some of those aerial shots that you get out over by the water. Yeah pretty nice but uh yeah the wind but the place is lush looks great no it is lush like every other course in the area but check it out Rivervale Country Club it's a semi-private golf club anyone can come and play uh, I can always get a tee time here on all of the major sites anytime I hop on golf now or whatever Rivervale is always the one that's available I love it they have great events here the food is good here you'll see the bar we're gonna go in there and have a drink and something to eat afterwards today the range you saw top tracer technology cool. so thumbs up to Rivervale they're doing cool things here if you're it's like 25 minutes outside of Hoboken and Manhattan if you're in the area, come up, check it out. You'll love it. You ready to do this? I'm ready now. All right, man. We got the blue 6500. It's on. Okay. Let's go. All right. Hey, they start you off with a nice 400-yard shot here. So a little fun fact, Rivervale was open 1931. It's changed hands a, a bunch of times. It was private. Um, thought it was a Donald Ross design. In fact, you could see it on Donald Ross's Wikipedia page that this is one of the courses that he had his hand in. But however, general manager here told me that it was Donald Ross's understudy uh, that designed this course originally. So you're gonna see a lot of the Donnie Ross um, philosophy out here, so to speak. The false fronts, you'll see a lot of the tree lines, uh, very similar uh, to what we saw at the Sagamore not too long ago. So this should be a fun one today.
So the greens are really quick, which we just learned. Unfortunately, um, I didn't have time to roll a few on the practice green before we got out here. So you just learn from the first hole. Um, they're quick, but true. So happy with that. I think the wind is the main thing today, main challenge today. So I love fall golf. It's incredibly pretty out here. You know, the fairways are, are really green at the end of the season. And then you've got the, the trees changing color. It's crisp out, it's cool, a little windy. But I tell you what, the cool weather is never great for my back. I got out of bed early this morning, tried to do some stretches. I sounded like when you like when you twist like a, uh, a Lay's potato chip bag. You're like Krr. So got a couple layers on to keep the back warm today. Like this is how we know we've been playing too much golf together. Look at this. These balls are in the exact same spot. <laughs> That's our game. That's our We're game. You're always one cl more club. All right. So now this one's a tricky one. Uphill. I think I'm gonna add 153. It's front number 137. I don't believe it. I'm gonna play like 165. Yeah, it's all uphill the whole yeah. way, and we're into this wind. Look at this. Look at this wind. Get a get an idea of it. I Good. Looks pretty good. It's pretty damn good. And we talk a lot on the golf podcast about playing conservative and kind of swallowing your pride on the short par fours, playing conservative, hitting the iron off the tee. We did that. You went five iron, I went six iron, we put the ball right in the fairway. We did have a long approach shot. We were uphill, 165 yards. Look where I am, 15 feet for birdie. Let's see if it pays off. Ready? Oh. Oh. You had the speed, really. Yeah. Good par, good yeah. par. I like the pink pins, a little breast cancer awareness month. It's a nice touch. So case in fact, with this wind adding that other factor here, we've got a par three downhill. So we've already got to worry about the slope. You saw us talking a little bit about that in the podcast recently with elevation change. A lot of that obviously in this area, but par three, shot scope's telling me 178, but it's downhill. I gotta think you at least take 20 yards off that. However, the wind, Mike, I mean, look at the trees down there by the green. You see them moving a whole bunch? I see the flag moving right to, like the wind's moving right to left, but it's, like I said, it's swirling. Gotta be a weatherman out here today. Gotta be a weatherman. <laughs> you a caddy, you should've brought a weatherman, that's right. What do you usually hit here? Looking at 178? I'm gonna hit a, uh, a 65 shot. 165 yeah. shot, downhill. Downhill. Yeah, now wind is the real, Yeah. the wild it's card. It's about the wind. Yeah. I'm gonna, I, I gotta hire you to walk around with me all day and fill my divots. Yeah, this yeah, guy makes yeah. plenty of divots. I, I can make yeah, so yeah. many divots. Can I? Can you come with me and play today? Okay. <laughs> come on, come on. I'll tell you what, what's been really tricky, these greens are lightning fast, so if you get a downhill putt, it's a knee knocker. Uh, especially when that pin is close to some of these false fronts. You just have that fear that it's gonna roll right off the green. So you gotta get that pace right, that's for sure. I told you that wind was blowing a little bit. Yeah, the wind was blowing. So I was wrong about driver three wood, sorry. I did push mine right a little bit, but I am inbounds. As you can see, I'm in front of the white stakes. We're safe. My goal here is to just... Well, your nope. good news is it's par five, right? Yeah, but I'm 206 to the front, and I got a shot. This guy's nuts. Come uh, on. Look, come on around. Take that's a, let's just show what everyone thinks. Home. Mike calls this got a shot. I guess, I guess but five I mean, iron? you got to see how it's going to come out of that lie. But what I'm saying is also, it's a par five, so you could put it on that fairway, wedge it in, and still be putting for birdie. Okay. You know just what I mean? saying, but I don't want to run your game for you, Mike. You're always running my game. I don't want to run you're your always game. Running my Listen, game. You're the one who made me your caddy. Let's go. So I mean, you'll be a wedge in. In the rough, like I like. All right, Frank is in what they call position A, folks, here on a par five. You have 200 and, what, 15 at the front? Yeah, 235, 215. 
because, however, yes, go ahead. It is the ball is well above my feet. This lie, I tend to catch these a little bit fat, which worries me a bit. So I don't know. You're playing I, for the I layup, aren't you? No, I think I'm gonna hit like something like a uh, a four iron, and if it gets there, it gets there. But if it doesn't, as I'm okay with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want to Whereas take a three-wood into this? I can hit a three-wood, but I hit three-wood above, above feet. my feet. I don't think I can hit it. So yeah, I have no faith in you on that shot. Smart. Not going to kill you. That's all I wanted to do. Your green side, probably. Close to it, chipping a putt. That's all I wanted to do. I'll probably be 25 yards out on a par five. Now go back. Now it's going to come back. Now it's going to come back. Nope. Mm. But I will take that. Yeah, it's still a good, all day good speed. For the push. Shoot the push! Oh, <laughs> you ah. son of a. I think you could pull a fill here? Yeah, this reminds me of Phil at Augusta. Of the pine straw? Yeah. Although I'm not going to have the same success. I've got good to. practice for when we eventually make our way to Pinehurst. You're absolutely right. Overall, I feel like I'm playing pretty well today. Um, happy with the way I'm striking the ball, but greens, man, big challenge. The big, two biggest challenges today are the wind and the greens. Wind, obviously, it's a day-to-day -day thing. Can't control that, but the greens here are incredibly fast, lightning fast, so I've left a couple of what should have been pars out here with, I think I had two, three putts for bogey. Not ideal, but um, it is what it is. Wind though does make quite a bit of challenge. Anyway, we got a par three here. I'm looking at, hold on, let's see what shots go. Sets on the tee. I got a 151 to the middle. Looks like the pin is right in the middle. I'm just gonna hit a nice, easy eight iron here. One more thing I love about fall golf, I'll tell you what, it starts off cool in the mornings, but then it warms up nice, short sleeves. Feeling good right now, it's probably what, 65 degrees out? Golf weather. It might be on the green. Smoked it, huh? Might be on. Not often you get the eagle putts, huh? You don't get a lot of eagle putts, so. Gonna make them count. Maybe one eagle, one, two. Oh. Oh. Eh, numero ya finito. Yeah. Ora numero forti. Oh, you said me. Oh, yeah. I made all the holes. <laughs> yeah. I, I made all the uh, holes. Numero, numero. This is all empty because of me. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, gracias, amigo. Okay. If there's ever a dog leg left, it's number 13 here at Rivervale. It's literally this. I mean, take a look. All right, so this is where we're teeing off. They say the play is about here to come this way. If you do hit driver, there's a great chance you will end up in that guy's living room right there. You do not want to go there. So two things, 200 yard shot to where the cart is there, or you could try to cut the whole corner and go for it. I would typically go for this but not today. My shot scope shows 286, 286. As, as the crow flies. So you would have, if you went that way. Yeah, my luck, a lot, a lot can go wrong. We're going hybrid. Here's your desired landing.
Yeah, Go. she's coming. So this par 314 normally would be a difficult shot at this distance because we've got 225 yards, a little bit uphill, but we're also playing this one into the wind and the whole group crew just went before us. It's a little backed up, so waiting on the guys in front of us. Two guys hit three woods and one guy hit driver. So that tells you anything. So I think I might hit the three wood here with this wind. Mike is using Siri to translate right now because he found his soulmate. <laughs> it's a whole bucket. <laughs> I used it all. <laughs> I think you found your soulmate. Is he gonna go everywhere you go now? Dude, you're fired and he's hired. I'll have him carry the bag and fill the divots. Uh, what's your name? Nombre. Uh, Amilka. 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 Si. Miguel. You good? Oh See, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you wanna, mean, you you, uh, you live here? Uh, yeah, me, me the, the Guatemala. Guatemala, Guatemala, me. Okay, uh, I like it. This is my guy here, right here. Name it on me, Magu, Magu, Milka. Milka, Milka, Milka. Yeah. All right, it's on your friend. Yeah. Right now, huh? Okay. <laughs> hey, good. <laughs> All right, fall golf, what I said before, I went down to short sleeves, right? Got cool again, now it's starting oh, to rain. Yeah. It's changing on every uh, thing, on every hole. We got new weather. Like you said, Mike, we gotta bring a weatherman out here with <laughs> Good news is, we're gonna stay dry. Wow, you got a lot of height on that. Frank, you know Riverdale. what? I liked it. I liked it. There was some challenge out here, not just because of the wind. That one, what was it, 235 yard par three was uh -huh. a little bit of a beast. Yep. Um, had a shot it, at, at an eagle putt. That made me happy. You have your different style of holes. Remember, 13 was that weird dog leg left, which made you think about uh, shot placement. Right after that was 14, the 230 yard par three. Mm -hmm. and then you have a 430 yard second uh, two handicap par four. So the course definitely challenges you. Beautiful shape. Beautiful shape. Right? We got to experience every bit of weather today. We had a little cold earlier, then we got a little bit of rain, then it warmed up. So uh, that's that's fall golf in the Northeast for you. It is. Now we got every bit it of really fall, is. fall golf. So it's really cool. And the other thing too about, how about that range, the driving range? The range was cool. The top tracer stuff, yeah. I think we're gonna see more and more of that on ranges. I think so. So it was really cool to see that. So a big thanks to Rivervale for hosting us today. This was a lot of fun. Uh, great round, very busy out here. You know what I mean? It was just, you could tell everybody's just trying to get that last bit of golf yeah. in before it gets too cold. So I'm glad we were able to squeeze it in. We had fun. Hope you guys had fun watching along. See you guys soon. One of these days I'm gonna have one of these. One of these days. You heard it here first. Mike's first ace coming soon.